Shanti, um, a monk or a bishop, is there any difference between what they can teach you and, and what lessons you can learn from them? Okay. So your question really refers to what is the sign of spiritual evolution? Yes. Spiritual evolution has no connection with academic degree or religious positions. Religious position is just external position, is a management position. Mm. A real position, spirituality, is your inner connection with your higher self or connection with God. So somebody could be a parishioner, could be more evolved than the minister who is preaching the sermon. Because minister's job is to preach the sermon, his teaching intellectually, it is his job. His personal life could be completely different. And this is seen so many times. All the positions don't mean anything. Same way, intellectually somebody could be a scholar, know all about scriptures, memorize scriptures and teach everyone, could be famous but won't have inner spark awakened. On the other hand, one would not be known in the public, could have awakened the park, spark, and they would have spirituality. So spirituality doesn't have external measurement. Spirituality is so subtle. So general guideline is, just to see, that you stay in the presence of a person who is evolved, you find peace. This is the general guideline. Others who are intellectually smart, they would be restless. In Indian tradition, this is so common that some of the greatest swamis, greatest evolved souls were illiterate. Ram Krishna Paramahansa was Ill illiterate. Raman Maharshi was illiterate. But they had all the wisdom, all the scholars. They studied scriptures, they were confused. They went to them and they knew the answer. So this brings out another point. All the wisdom is within. See, the nature of Atman is Sat, Chit and Anand. Chit means consciousness. Consciousness means knowledge. All the knowledge that came outside was from within. Because of the self, the world was created. So all the knowledge is already known. So those who get attuned to the higher self, they know everything without reading any single book. So saying that all that you need to know is written inside the cells of your body is sort of a, a wise understanding to right. going inside and in which you, where right. that you can learn. So going deep within, beyond mind, beyond limitation, to, to that consciousness, that consciousness is universal, just like quantum physics says, everything is connected. So if you are in tune with entire universe, with all the knowledge that is there, it's already part of you. But generally people recognize information, smartness, logic, to be wisdom, that is not wisdom. Sa vidya ya vimuktaya, that is the knowledge that liberates you. All other knowledge is called avidya or ignorance. Academic degree, MD, PhD, all this are only avidya, ignorance. Ignorance means not knowing, that's not the same. Ignorance of the self. So vidya, true vidya is the one that teaches you about self. And I see that all the time, so many students who are professionally with so many degrees, and I direct them in this direction, they seem to know nothing. They never heard anything like that in their education. So all the academic knowledge, worldly knowledge, can help you make money, become famous, but it cannot liberate you. Okay, so this is called Vidya and spiritual evolution is available to all. All it takes is purity of heart 
and people try to be smarter. As a matter of fact, it is easier for a dumb person with devotion to find God than very smart Pandit. Okay? Because the Pandit scholar would be thinking so much God appeared in, in front of himself, he would doubt, he would question. <laughs> And God would disappear. You need a doubting Thomas. Down to Thomas. Okay. <laughs> Good. Right. Good. 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 Good.